Cats, Billy, and Bob. Hey everybody, it's Billy and I am here with the Marvel Collector Core Spider-Man box. Get it in the frame there. So, a lot of people have already gotten this box and a lot of people have already seen what's in it, but I thought I would do my unboxing um, for funsies, mostly. I have seen what's in it, but I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts about it. I really like the box design this month. Um, even if it's just Spider-Man, it's simple, but this is probably one of my favorite box designs that they've done. So we have the patch and pin. Pin is just the Spider-Man logo. And the patch is, of course, Spider-Man himself. So that's good. I like that. Um, of course, it, being Spider-Man, that's going to be what the patch and pin are going to be. All right, the first thing on top is the spoiler card. And we'll look at that here in a minute. The first item is Amazing Spider-Man number 16. Where is that? There it is. Number 16. So um, I enjoyed when they were doing the number ones. That was good. Um, but now they've just got a 16. So that's random. I don't know if that's the start of a new storyline. I'm sure it probably is. Um, but... I don't know. I'm not a big fan of not doing number ones in com and, and boxes. I think if you're going to do a box and you're going to put a comic in it, make it a number one. All right, let's talk about this pop. This pop is not bad. It's crazy to hear me say that, I'm sure. Uh, it's well known on my channel that I'm not a big pop fan. I maybe have six total. There's usually like three things that really bug me about Funko Pops. Um, Marvel in particular. First thing that really bugs me is that they're all bobbleheads. I cannot stand them being bobbleheads. I understand it's a licensing thing with Marvel, but I can't. I, I hate it. <laughs> the second thing I don't like is the eyes and how they're little circles. I can't. I, it, it, to me, it takes away all of their personality. Like, just giving them these dead one color eyes is awful. And third, is most important to me, there's no personality. They're, sometimes they're just standing there. Sometimes they're just in a dramatic pose and, and that's it. Um, so there's no, you don't get the essence of the character when you get a pop like that. It's just a pop to have. With this Spider-Man pop, there are two things that actually make me actually kind of like it. One is there's no circular eyes. He actually has the Spider-Man eyes. The original Spider-Man pop is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. It's the Spider-Man eye with the little circles in it, and it's terrible. It's awful. This is how you do Spider-Man's eyes. So I like that. The second thing is he's jumping. He's got some personality. He's, he's doing something. Um, and he's in a nice classic Spider-Man post, so you get a sense of his character, you get a sense of his personality. So, for those two reasons, I actually like this pop. And I'm not entirely sure that I'm not going to get rid of it. I may actually keep this pop. The item that I'm least excited about is the fabrication. Um, I don't like the fabrications. I got a ton of telefabrication not too long ago, and after like a couple of days of really looking at them and thinking about it, I kind of decided I was not a fan. To me, it's the same thing as what I was saying with the Pops. There's no personality to these. Like, they're just in this pose. Like, they're just standing there. And the arms don't move, the head does turn, but there's no personality. You don't get a sense of the character. So, to me, it's just something to have. And if that's all you're looking for, then great. If you just want to have a plush of Spider-Man, cool. To me, I want my characters to have something going on. I think that's why I like Q-Fix so much. There's a lot of personality in those figures. There's a lot going on. Sometimes there's backgrounds and, and, and scenes going on, and I like that. And then you look at a fabrication, and it's nothing. It's just a fabric version of a pop. Which is crazy to me, because aren't they coming out with pop, like, plush pops or something like that? 
So let's look at the last item in the box. Now, from what I've heard and gathered on the internet, this has gotten a lot of flack. And a lot of people aren't really into this. But I kind of like the pop hat. Um, now, it does bring back the thing that I hate most about pops and the beady little eyes. But at the same time, it's a nice hat. Like, it's actually quality hat. Or, in my opinion, a quality hat. I like the print on the bottom of the brim. Um, I don't like the snapback feature, but I do like the little Spider-Man logo on there. And, most importantly, the thing that is most important when you're looking for a hat, you look good in it. And I like that. Okay, so we got a pop, a hat, a pin, a comic, a patch, and a fabrication. The thing that really bugs me about this fabrication is that it doesn't say exclusive anywhere except right on the bottom of the box. Like, that's, it's so hidden that if you were to see this in a store you would think, oh, okay, cool. Something I was reading about the pop hats is the pop tops, I guess. They, on this card it says they're only going to be in collector core boxes, which I'm kind of okay with. I would actually much rather get things like hats, scarves, wearables. I'm kind of getting t-shirt fatigue. Yeah, a lot of them are great, but how many times are you going to wear them? If you have a, th a thousand t-shirts from a thousand boxes, when are you going to find a time to wear them? So I am actually excited about the next one. It is Doctor Strange. I still don't actually believe that they're going to end up releasing a Doctor Strange movie. That concept to me is crazy. I really like the spoiler cards. They, they like break down the process of creating something and it actually makes it feel more collectible that way. I like that. I like it a lot. So that was Marvel Collector Core. And it wasn't a bad box. Um, a lot of people that I've seen talking about it have mentioned how they don't like that it's just Spider-Man. But if you think about it, the Deadpool box was just Deadpool. Why wouldn't this one be just Spider-Man? A lot of people wanted like a vulture pop or a Mary Jane shirt or something. They wanted it to be the Spider-Man universe. And I get that. Spider-Man has had 10 pops made for him. That's so many. But it's also Marvel's marquee character. Why wouldn't he have 10 pops? I was going to rate this box and then I realized I stopped doing ratings because I was already inconsistent with them anyway. Overall, I like the box. I really do. Um, the fabrications might be one of the worst things I've ever gotten in Collector Core. But overall, I like the hat, I like the pop, the patch and pin are, are always going to be things that I like. So until next time, thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought about the box, and until next time,